welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt, and in this session, we're going to go over the master bus compressor in Reason. Let's go over a little history of this device first. Do you know, in, it was back in 1980 when Solid State Logic came out with their 4000 uh, series mixer that they first introduced the master bus compressor, and it was revolutionary because this compressor allowed you know the engineers right there in the studio to get a much more cohesive compact uh, better leveled mix that was only possible after the mix, uh, the mastering stage and it it was revolutionary and even to this day it's it's still going strong here in reason and in the real uh, desks and in plugins and it, countless other uh, formats, this master bus compressor is probably had more songs, hit songs, uh, uh, home studio songs go right through it. So it's, it's, it's something good and we should, we should learn how to use it and use it right. So let's go over some of the, the, the controls here. We have our on switch, uh, we have our, our meter, and then we have our controls right here for the compressor. The only thing that's really unique here among this, these controls is the auto release. And what this is, is it allows you to give, say, if you have a really fast release here and uh, it's, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to go here to the, the three uh, or the six. You want a fast release, but you, you, you know, there might be some peaks in the wave file that's going through the bus compressor and you would like the, the compressor to hang on before it releases it's best to use the auto. That's what it will do. It will, it will be adaptive to the WAV file and it will, be, it, will be, it will be fast but it will hold on when it needs to and then let go and then be fast and maybe hang on, be fast. I mean that's, my, <laughs> that's the best way I can uh, tell you how it works. Basically I'll, I, I will use the fastest setting and if I find that the fastest setting is just a, a little bit too fast and the next setting just is, is, is too long, you know, it's not releasing it fast enough, I go to auto. That's, that's a pretty simple way to look at it. Uh, we have our makeup gain and ratio, threshold, and attack. And in the description of this video, I'll put a link to a video I made on how a compressor works. And, uh, if you don't understand how a compressor works, it's, it's actually very simple, but I suggest you watch that video and then come back to the master bus compressor here. So uh, I'm not going to go over all these because there's a, a video for it already. So, and then right here we have our external side chain. And if you go to the rack and you go to uh, the master section here, you'll see dynamic sidechain input and this is for the master bus compressor to do sidechaining. Uh, I, you know, you might want to use sidechain compressing with another compressor as you're on the master bus. Um, I'm sure somebody out there can think of a way to use this. I never use it, but you know, it's art. I'm sure somebody can find a way to use it but you can sidechain with the master bus compressor. Also here I want to go over this, this right here, the signal path inserts pre of the compressor, that's this compressor. And what this means is you can put the inserts, you know, pre of the, uh, the master bus compressor, which means the, the signal, you know, the signal flows out of the tracks, it goes in the master bus compressor, it goes through the inserts and then, you know, out to your uh, master fader. If you would like to put the inserts before the master bus compressor, you would just click this button here. Um, I don't think you'll use that too often because in your inserts, you know, the last thing you should put in the, the, the master uh, channel signal chain is a limiter. It's just wise, so you never have any clipping. So uh, I, I don't think I've ever used this, but I'm sure some there might be there 
you know, it gives you creative options at the very least. So let's talk a little bit about whether you should mix into the master bus compressor or turn it on after you're done mixing. And there are a couple schools of thought out there, but if you just think of this logically, why not turn the master bus compressor on and mix into it? Set the master bus compressor at a very low setting and then mix into it and in the mastering stage you can make some some other adjustments and what you've done is you've mixed into it you know as you're setting your levels they never change there's no drastic change once you hit the on button it just seems more logical to mix into it and mix into it at a low setting and then save your more um, your other settings for or more aggressive settings for the master bus compressor in the mastering stage I'm not alone on this this uh, theory believe me and there's plenty of other people in the other school of thought and I respect them both you know do what's best for you but I'm going to show you how to mix into it and uh, a good setting for it and uh, if you use this setting, you're going to find that your mixes will sound good and you mix into it and it's, you're going to come out with some really good results. So, I got a loop here and let, let's, let's uh, get this thing going here. So I'm going to turn it on. And here we have the default setting. And you can see right here, we're, we're getting about, with the default setting, we're getting about six to seven uh, uh, dB of uh, gain reduction. Well, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the threshold down, way down, and I'm just going to I'm just going to inch it up just a smidge, just to see that needle just barely move. And now when you see this needle move, what's moving it? What do you hear? You hear the kick. It's just ironing out the kick right now. That's basically what it's affecting. Maybe a little of the snare. And I have a very, you know, I have a fast release going. Uh, my attack, you can bring the attack down, it's, it's going to get more aggressive. I'll keep it right there at 10. And so, I have it set. I can mix into this, this master bus compressor just like this. I'm, I'm getting, you know, 1 to 2 dB of gain reduction, which is, it's, it's really not noticeable. You know, it's not crunching the sound, but it is, it's kind of leveling everything out nicely. So I'm going to turn it off and I want you to hear the difference in the level of it being off and on. It's a little bit louder when I, I turn it on, just a smidge. So I'm just going to turn the makeup gain down just a bit. There. So when I turn the, the master bus compressor off and on, you really can't tell a difference in level. It just gives it a better sound. It glues everything together. So that's how you mix into the bus compressor and it's transparent, but it's still doing its job. I really hope this helps you guys out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You guys take care.